Larkin near side. Left for him. Larkin gets the speed going. Back pass, Kate. He scores! What a setup! What a goal! Showtime! 2 1! Red Wings win! Just a cool highlight. Just a highlight. No real significance, just a highlight. The Red Wings beat the Avalanche 2 1 in overtime. Patrick Kane, best American ever. Probably, arguably. This is interesting to see. Daily Sports Podcast News Nerves takes gambling, the NHL, and the NBA. <gasps> About to take center stage and cool stuff in the NHL last night. The association had some interesting stuff as too. We'll talk about Kevin Durant. But we're going to start today with blasphemous stuff happening. And so oh, this, is, this is insane. Your entire childhood is about to be rocked. In NCAA volleyball, a rule change has rocked the entire sport at its foundation. I love volleyball. Volleyball is awesome. There's so much shit talking. It's so fast. It's great. I like it. It's against the rules to hit the ball twice in a row as the same person. It's against the rules. You hit it three times, one person, one person, one person, and it has to go over the net. And then the other team, remember from, from PE in high school? However, the NCAA is like poo-poo. That is no longer a rule. And everyone's like, that's crazy. But the point of the rule is the people that do the setting, the setter position, the people that do their hands up, touching the ball without holding it and putting it straight up into the air with both hands at the same time is incredibly hard, and it was ruining the game. So here is an example of something that was called a double that will no longer be a double. Let's watch this. And I'm going to mute the sound. So here it is. Slow motion. See the ball? It's rotating. It's rotating. It's rotating. Watch the rotation of the ball. Watch how it changes. And that's what refs often look for. And then it's a whoop. So from that rotation, it means you held on it too, too long. Maybe it touched your left hand, then a right hand first. That was called illegal. So the point of this rule is to make that no longer a thing. And all of the people that play that position that do the setting are like, well, am I irrelevant now? I don't know. We're going to find out. Volleyball, TikTok, and Twitter is losing their mind. <laughs> and nothing that you knew as a child is correct. Let's go back to the National Hockey League where refs really like themselves. How about this one? All right. All right. Maybe, are we doing too much now? Okay. I don't... Okay. We're doing too much now. Remember the ref that was refing Seahawks and Lions this year that said, hey, I'm talking to America here. Dude. How annoying. Did you know that the Phoenix Suns are a professional basketball team and they were playing the Dallas Mavericks? another professional basketball team, and they were doing that in Dallas. Let's watch some stuff. This is Kevin Durant coming on to the court. Here we go. Get somebody yell something at him. There he is. Somebody yell something at him. He goes and talks to him, and he's mad. It is a little loud. These people look drunk and they're talking to me. He gets mad and I'll watch this one. He's like, what? And what are you saying to him? And then they zoom in on this guy. I want to try to find the video first. Like, why is Kevin Durant mad at these people? What are they saying to him? How can this, like, what's going on, right? Well, it's even stupider than you could possibly imagine. I want to find the video so we can all see it up close and personal. But what the guy says to him, <laughs> this is so stupid. The guy says to him, I host a sports podcast as if trying to get him on the show. I host a sports podcast. And then Kevin Durant was like, you have got to be joking me right now. Is that what's really happening? Is this what my life has become? Here it is. Watch. Go ahead. I host a podcast about sports. And he's like, God damn it. Do you want to come on my podcast? That's what he used his tickets for. I host the podcast. Listen. I should I quit this podcast? This is the tough look for us. I've never asked anyone to be on the show, and I never will. <laughs> nope, never. It's fine. All right, Katie. 
The Suns lost because the Suns Mavericks thing is actually getting really fun. Um, I like it a lot. It's legendary. It's the only fun part of the NBA for me at this point in the season. The Celtics are crushing everybody. Um, but we're back after the little hiatus from the All-Star game. Let's catch everybody up on the situation. Celtics destroying everybody. So Boston, good. Again, Cavs, surprisingly good. That's neato. The Bucks are good, despite firing their coach and Doc Rivers, the old coach from the Celtics slash Clippers slash Sixers. Remember, he's been fired at all three of those places, and now he's coaching the Bucks somehow. Amazing. They're not as good as they should be, probably. But then the Knicks are good. The Sixers are good without their best player, who's probably out for the year-ish. And then other teams are playing. It doesn't really matter. Then in the Western Conference, the T-Wolves are fun. Nobody saw this. Everybody knew the Thunder would be good, but they thought maybe next year the Thunder would be good. They're good now. The Clippers have like two of the best players ever. Low-key, legitimately under the radar. Kawhi Leonard, one of the greatest players of all time. Nobody talks about it. Uh, the Nugs, the Nuggies, defending champs, they have gotten to the point where they can just like, we just can kind of be fat through the regular season, and then we'll just try hard in the playoffs. I think they might win it again. Uh, TBH, which means to be honest. The Pelicans are good, despite Zion being so fat. And then the Mavericks are fit or sixth. Mavs, Suns, Kings, watch out for these teams. Lakers currently not in the current like thing. They have to be in the playing game against the Warriors. What a world we live in. LeBron and Steph, the NBA, NBA has to step in. There's no way they can let the LeBron and Steph not be in the playoffs. That would be. And they do. They, we know the NBA rigs games. Um, that's like a fact that has been confirmed by people, including refs. NCAA College Football announced yesterday that it is back. And here is the compensation the players will get. 600 bucks and a copy of the game. 600 bucks and a copy of the game. Man, we're glad we went through all that shit. $600. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't take it. People are really nervous that it's just going to be Madden, which sucks. But like a little bit better than Madden. We'll see. Uh, I don't have high hopes for this because it's just about making a ton of money. I wonder if the announcers that are in it got way more money than the players. Announcers include Reese Davis, Kirk Herbstreit, Chris Fowler, Jesse Palmer. Why? Kevin Connors. Don't remember who that is. And David Pollock. He hasn't been on ESPN in a while. Matt Ariza, the punter who was accused of rape, a very violent rape in San Diego before he was able to complete his rookie season for the Bills. The Bills then cut him. Then it came out that he was not, it appears very much not guilty and there will not be charges filed. Uh, he has been signed by the Kansas City Chiefs. And he is a freak punter. He will be, like from a leg power standpoint, the best punter in NFL history almost immediately. Almost immediately. So he's been signed by the Chiefs and everyone's like, this is false accusations. I wonder what his uh, ability to sue will be. We'll have to pay attention to that. Let's look at these uniforms and how tight the pants are and how lengthy. Like, look at this. Look, this is a baseball player bending over. Look at him. Is that what we want to see in the ballpark? No. In fact, I might have to restrict this episode. Who wants to watch a fight at the buzzer in hockey? Let's do it. Let's do it. Zeros, what a win for Carolina. And now we got some festivities after the whistle. Festivities. Haha. <laughs> Trying to get a piece of pitching. It's just good to see. Stolen Look at him. You know, Piotr Kochetkov's not This is a good rivalry. Panthers carrying. They both have a shot of the cup. They're way. good. Martin pulling Barkov away. Kochetkov wrestled to the ice by McIsaac, the official. Just like to see it. We're around in the corner on the home stretch. Things are starting to get intense in the NBA and the NHL. The Islanders' new head coach, Patrick Waugh, you heard that right, was down 3 nothing to the Blues. They scored those three goals in 32 seconds. And then with 11 minutes left in the game, Patty Waugh uh, pulled the goalie, and I wonder how it went. 11 minutes left. Fuchs-Davich, backhander for the hat trick. He scores! Fuchs-Davich. Patrick Waugh just uh, playing video games. I don't know. Maybe he's smart. Maybe he's dumb. Who knows? Who's to say? Not me. I don't know what I'm doing. Justin Fields, star quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Well, star quarterback for Ohio State, mid-quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Forgot who went to his college. They were at Amon Ross St. Brown and Equinemia St. Brown, I believe, were asking Justin Fields who his Ohio State Mount Rushmore was. Here's what he had to say. For Ohio State players, like top four. Troy Smith, just because he won a high Sure, level. fair enough. I got to give Zeke. Number two. Maybe. Say again, I think he was going crazy at O State. Did Eddie George go to O State? Eddie George, yeah. That, that's the last one, too. Archie Griffin. Please tell me he didn't go to O State. Archie Griffin. He won two Heismans. 
Hold on. Yeah, he did. If- he didn't even know. But to be fair for Justin, could you imagine going to being a player at a school that's had that much success and you're just like, oh, yeah, I forgot about the guy, the only guy ever to win two Heismans. Can't get mad at him, man. If he went to O-State, he didn't put him in. Like, hey, that's crazy. This dude, Archie Griffin, won he's two Heismans roasted. and he didn't name Archie Griffin. What year? What year did he win a Heisman? I don't care what years. Who won two Heismans ever? I'm not about to One look guy. up football history, this and that. I'm just not that kind of guy. Like, no, you don't love But fair enough. I mean... Who was president when Archie Griffin won those Heisman's? Bet you people don't know. I don't know, and I'm not going to look it up. I'm back and better than ever on Monday.